What do you mean you haven't told father about the endorsement deal with Fafik? I don't know how to tell. What's so difficult? <sighs> okay, practice. Pretend I'm father. What are you waiting for? Oh. Pa, I have something to tell you. What is it? Pa, actually I was the one who... I had... Don't look at me like this. I'm so fierce. This is father's look. Better get used to it. I can't do this. Let's forget about the money. It's okay. How to forget? We were supposed to impress father with all the new business from the marketing so he can trust you and hand over the business to you. Can we write it off as bad investment? Pa would kill me if he found out I got scammed. You should have considered that before you signed with the Albert. How would I know Albert would run off with the money? Okay. So you're not going to tell father, is it? I'll do it. Ooh. That's even worse. Pa would think I've got no guts to tell him and I need my wife to do it for me. Hello? Now? Okay. I'm on the way already. I want to hear some good news when I come back. Open the door. Good morning, Mummy. Quickly finish your breakfast and get ready for e-learning. Yes, Mummy. Good morning. Hey, Rose. So how? Should I take the job offer or not? Hmm. Hmm. Pros and cons list. Well, if I'm so unhappy with my job and someone offers me a 40% pay rise to jump ship, it's a no-brainer. <sighs> the nurse's finest fee is so tempting. The problem is, I'm not so close to the nurses. How to ask them to come with me? Why don't you ask Alex if he knows if anyone's thinking of quitting? Yes, Alex. That's a good idea. Everybody likes Alex. Brayden, how come never go to school today? Yeah, today is e-learning. No need to go to school. E-learning again? How come always e-learning? Don't go to school how to learn anything. Pa, hmm? I bought chicken today for your breakfast. What did you do now? Uh, pa, actually, I was the one who... Never mind. What you want to say, just say. Forget it. It's not important. You waste my time. Brayden, you want to quit? No, thanks, yeah. Daddy, Daddy. Mommy said you have to tell Yaya about Uncle Hafiq by today. I know. You don't have to remind me. Daddy, can I borrow your phone? I forgot about your homework again, is it? Hmm? Need to ask your friends. Remember, don't tell Nelly, you know. She will keep away and ask so many questions. Got it. Then, good morning. Kong Kong, the seller says we can go and view the apartment now. Hi, Alex. Hi. Dad, you're moving? Why so busy, body? If you're moving into the neighborhood, why don't you come over for dinner and I can show you around? No need, no need. Come, Pelin, let's go. Sorry, we have to go. Are you coming or not? Don't keep people waiting. Mommy, coming. Thank you so much. We should catch up over lunch soon, okay? Yeah. See you. Hey, Christine. Hey, Pucho. Hey, I noticed that you're quite close to the nurses. Well, we work together. Nice mug. Yeah, a gift from Nurse Jennifer. She just got back from a Bali holiday. She went to Bali? I thought she was on a maternity leave. Um, Nurse Jennifer is not married. Ah, she put on so much weight. I thought she was pregnant. <laughs> you must be talking about Nurse Phoebe. But she's not due to only next month. Yes, Nurse Phoebe. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting both of them mixed up. I should go. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to be at the TCM shop today? Yeah, I'm going after lunch. Why? Can I bring my friends to the shop? They want to see you. Your friends want to see me? For what? Uh, must be for neck and shoulder ache, right? Nowadays, the children on their phones, all very bad postures. Yeah. Uh, Brayden, you another one. How many times must I tell you to stand straight, don't slouch? Yeah. Hmm? Actually, my friends saw this on social media. They want to meet the famous hero Hang. 
We know him as Tao Ke Heng. But to this abandoned baby, his hero Heng, who posted this? Uncle Hafid. Really desperate. Hey, Alex! Hey, what's up? The other day you mentioned there is two nurses not happy with their job. Who are they? I forgot their names. <laughs> nurses Ida and Cynthia? Yeah, Nurse Ida and Cynthia. Mm. Because they didn't get promoted, right? Well, not just that. I think it's a bunch of other things as well. Like what? Don't really know. But tell you what. Why don't I arrange lunch for the three of you and you can ask them yourself? Sounds good. <laughs> How about today? Okay. Why? Hmm? Did you see this? Huh? Have you posted this? I'm gonna take I'm gonna call out I'm gonna ask him to take it down right now. Why? No need. I got so many likes. Read the comments. Tao Ke Heng deserves an award for saving the baby. Hmm? I also say, how come they never give me an award? Ah, check this out. Not all heroes wear capes. Tao Ke Heng is one of them. Wah, wow. everyone thinks you're a hero because of half exposed. <laughs> I like this. Be someone's hero today. Be like Tao Ke Heng. Mm. I'm going to like all the comments. Why? <laughs> Since you and your sister want Hafik to be our spokesperson, I don't mind. Try him out. See how. <laughs> she wants to see how she can improve staff welfare, and that's why we're having this lunch. Our pochu? Really? <laughs> the pochu is always telling the nurses off? Yeah, she's a bit short tempered. I think it's because she cares for the patient in the hospital. Ah. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hey, hey hi, Made it. Eh? Where's Nurse Ida and Nurse Cynthia? Oh, sorry. They couldn't make it last minute. You should have told me earlier. I rushed all the way here. Well, since you're here, you can have lunch with us. Mm. I get a table. Mm. Anyway, I do talk to some of the nurses and I kind of know what they're unhappy about. Let's enjoy our lunch, okay? Mm. The nurses are not happy with their long hours and low pay. And the coffee in the pantry. Another thing is the duty roster. Mm. The duty roster? What's wrong with the duty roster? Nurse Cynthia and Nurse Ida have been on night shift for... We are so understaffed. What to do? Oh, for three months, it's too long to be on night shift and they are really burnt out. So they're just going to quit? It will be a waste if they leave. Nurse Ida and Nurse Cynthia are really good at what they do and they have been with us for more than 10 years. Hey, <laughs> you see, Evelyn just sent me this cute video about puppies. Look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> Pochu, are you even listening? Can you just put down the phone? I'm listening. You said that Nurse Ida and Nurse Cynthia are not happy with the roster and they're burnt out. You think only the nurses are burnt out? The admin staff are also burnt out. Who isn't? That's not the point. The door is always open. If they're so fed up, just quit. There's so many other places outside they can go to. Hey, Mr. Tay, you're here for lunch? Alex, mm. if this is one of your jokes, it's not funny at all. See, Lip. <laughs> Hi! What's going on, Pochu? Nothing. Nothing is going on. I know it's a private conversation, but you were talking loud enough for everyone to overhear. And so many of our staff come here, especially the nurses, and you don't exactly have the best relationship with them. I know. I'm working on that. The nurses have a lot on their plate. You know how difficult some patients can be? As admin, you should be making their jobs easier, not adding more stress. We are already understaffed. The seller is asking for too much. It's just 10 minutes away from the MRT. Actually, the price is okay for the location. 
Doctor Tay, come join us. Who's that? Chandra, lo. You met them at Christine's wedding, remember? Alex's friend. Mm. Gong Gong, since you're not in a hurry, I can arrange a few more properties for you to view. Huh? Okay. Huh? Wow, Doctor Tay, what? Buying property, ah? <laughs> Just looking around, lah. Hey, copy, lang pe. Wow, so nice to be rich. We can only look around for long at the market. So, what's a good investment now, Doctor Tay? Hey, uh, Doctor Tay, forgot to tell. Uh, this is my friend John. Tan, you know. Okay. Hey, hey, you got money, ah? No money, ask for what? How big is the place? Five room. Oh, do you and your wife really need such a big place? Say, say. Maybe you can sell it, you know, and downgrade and use the proceeds from the sale as your retirement fund. What about the stock market? <laughs> Not for me. So many of my friends got burned. Yeah, Dr. Tay, you nailed it on the head. <laughs> hey, this fella, seldom say people are right. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Tay, you know so much. Come and have kopi with us when you are free. Give us some advice. Yeah, all right. Any sign? Yes. And if you are thinking of upgrading or downgrading, here's my number. I heard they are implementing cooling measures soon. Is it true? That's why now is the best time to buy. And he scores! What a goal! Hello, Uncle Ibrahim. Hey, boy. What are you doing here? Wanting school again, is it? No, sir. After school already. After school already? Then you should be happy. Why the long face? I guess I'm just tired. Tired? <laughs> Do you play any sports? Speed counted. <laughs> so you don't play any sports? Wasted, you know? Why? Wow, there you are. Your reflexes, your hand and eye coordination, as I can see, not bad. Quite good. Really? Yeah, of course. I'm a badminton coach. I can spot talent. You think I have what it takes to be a good badminton player? More than good. You know Hafiq Ibrahim, the badminton champion? He's my son. I coached him. He smashed the chapte just the way you did it. Hey, boy, why don't you come to my class? I gave you a free trial. And that is why Nurse Aida and Cynthia couldn't make it for lunch. Two nurses call in sick today. Why wasn't I informed? Well, they didn't want to bother you. They know it's very complicated to redo the roster, so they decided to do double shifts. Apparently, all the nurses here have been covering for each other whenever someone is on MC. <laughs> hey, Alex. Hmm? Do you remember my ex-boss, Patrick? Hmm? Oh, yeah, the CEO of the new White Plains Hospital. Yes. Yeah. He asked me to go over as assistant admin director. Oh, wow. And he even offered me a nurse's spider's fee if I can get them to join me. So you're planning to poach Aida and Cynthia? Uh, I shouldn't do that, right? It depends what your motives are. Is it for them or for yourself? That's a good question. <laughs> Hey, Alex, is Christine still angry with me? Um, I shouldn't have snapped at her. I don't know why I do things like that. Why don't you tell her how you feel? <sighs> Sorry I raised my voice at you. Does this happen very often with the nurses? When I first started working here, I was friendly with some of the nurses, but I was accused of favoritism, especially when it came to the duty roster. So that's why you decided to keep a distance. I know that the nurses' jobs are hard. Long hours, unreasonable patients. The last thing they need is an admin who always snapping at them. Although I can't do anything about their pay, but I should be more patient when it comes to changing their rosters and listening to their feedback. It's never too late. Thanks.
Hey, Vindi! Where's your girlfriend? Hey, your girlfriend never fetched you from school, ah. Hey, look at the chicken crossing the road! Hey, Rose, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I came to visit a student. How was your day? I'm emailing Patrick to turn down his job offer. Why? Uh, the money's good, right? I thought you hate your job. Something happened today and made me realise that the problem is not the hospital or her rest. It's me. I haven't done my job well. Why would you say that? Alex says that you're good at what you do, you're efficient. I may be efficient, but I don't do enough to help my co-workers. There are so many areas I'm lacking in. So much to work on. I don't deserve that promotion, so I have no right to be upset. Okay, in your set. I sent the email to my boss, Philip, instead of Patrick. <gasps> oh no! Hey, Philip, um, can I have a minute? Oh, go on. You saw my email? I admit that I was planning to resign, and when Patrick approached me, I wanted to take the offer, and I'm planning to bring some of the nurses with me. Please, let me explain. Hold I, I don't have time for this right now. Let's talk about this tomorrow. Go. how do you convince Pa to use Hafik? Nothing to do with Anthony. It was my Braden's brilliant idea to get Hafik to do the hero hang pose. Clever boy. Must be all the ginkgo nuts mummy's been feeding you. Your call may be the eldest son, but my Braden is father's favourite. Frank Braden? Of course, I'm the G-goat. G-goat? What's that? Greatest grandson of all time, the true successor of Swatel TCM. Jump high again. Okay. Stay on your toes. Stay on your toes. All right, good. Good, Ryan. Okay. Jump higher. Ready? Smash. All right, good. Smash. Well done. Smash. Well done. Good. Okay, stay, stay on your toes. Stay, stay on your toes slowly. All right. Stay on your toes. You want to take up badminton? Yeah. What? What? Exercise? You? I don't think I've ever seen you exercise. Why badminton? Why not self-defense? Karate, Krav Maga? How good is a badminton racket as a weapon? Why are we talking about weapons? No reason. <laughs> Arvin, don't listen to any of them. Do whatever exercise you want to do. Just be careful and don't break anything. What? Like a shuttlecock is going to give him concussion. <laughs> you never know with him. Hey, what do you call an amazing game of badminton? What? Good minton. Sorry, I asked. Okay, I'm going back already. Tomorrow night, I'm making pakote. Uh, no need to include me. There's a famous meepo store at Rayfield that I want to try. Meepo for dinner, how can? Have you seen the queue during dinner time? Ah, home good food is still the best. Don't waste it outside. It's not good for you. Are you a doctor? No. Then you listen. I am a doctor. So I know what is good and what's not good for myself. Unlike some doctor doesn't know what's good and what's not good for her. You're talking about me? Until now, I still don't know what she sees in a clown. What did Alex do now? Such a busy body, poking his nose here and there. I've never come across a man so capable before. You ran into Alex today? It's all your fault, huh? If you have discouraged your sister, I wouldn't have to put up with this clown. Ah, you gave your blessings for me to marry Alex too. You even attended the wedding. Whatever it is, May is already married to Alex. You want her to get another divorce? Alex is good for her, as long as she's happy. That's the most important, right? You think you're the authority on men? Huh? Look who you choose as a husband. What is wrong with him? TCM. That's all I need to say. Good. Oh, I bumped into your dad today. Uh, he was with Pei Ling. Oh. 
I guess he's finally looking for a new place then. Finally? Wait, so you know about his plans? Yeah, but they mentioned to me that he's thinking of buying a new place. Oh. Yeah, but he's always talking about buying. <laughs> new car, changing his fishing rods, renovating the toilet, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Hi. But nothing comes out of it. <laughs> Actually, it's a good idea for him to downgrade. I mean, the house is too big. So hard to maintain for someone his age. Yeah. Now that Ma's no longer around, he really doesn't need so much space. I thought Nelly would ask your dad to move in with her. Pa values his independence so much. Do you think he wants to stay with Jeffu? Maybe Nelly won't worry so much if he's with them. You know how she's always checking in on him. The thing is, I'm concerned about Pa too. But at least I know my limits. Tia is always telling him what to do and he hates it. I wonder if Nelly knows about your father's plans to move. It doesn't matter what she thinks. If Pa wants you to know that he's moving out, he'll tell her. Knowing how she loves to make a big hoo-ha out of everything, <laughs> I better stay out of this. <laughs> okay, good night. Good night. <clears throat> I wonder if your dad would ever want to move in with us. You okay with that? Oh, he's your dad. Even if I'm not okay, I have to be okay. <laughs> Even if you're okay, I'm not okay. But... Hey, do you really want to spend the rest of the night talking about my dad? Hmm? No. Uh -huh. So darling, I'm here to stay. Don't really care what they say. In time to build up... Spending 200k on a piece of paper when I can get the same thing for like what? Quarter of the price. I should be the one buying the Europe train tickets, learning a new language, making people jealous of me. Not them. Clearly, you got your priorities right. I wonder why your mother wasn't on board with the idea. Oh my gosh, RC, you're a genius. I just need to somehow convince her that I'm mature and sensible enough to go overseas by myself. Good luck with that. Now, what can I do to prove myself?